Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about set bookmark content. So this is one activity in the UI path and it's part of UI path word automation. Do you know about what is bookmark in MS Word? If you don't know, then let me go to MS Word. Let me open Microsoft Word here and then let me show you what is bookmark and what's the use of that in MS Word then you can understand the use of this bookmark in the UI path so let me create a blank document here and basically I need to write something here so instead of writing something I can just you know uh, put here some random text so I will just write here R A N D and then here I will put here like I need only um, uh, 10 paragraphs so I'll just put here 10 and once I will press enter it will give you a 10 paragraphs of text so that will be a random paragraphs here you can see I have now 10 paragraphs data now basically a bookmark is used in our MS Word you can see we are getting from the insert and then then you will go to the links here we have a bookmark so when you want to jump from like jump to any other specific location a specific contents then you can use this bookmark so let's say if you are here on the first page and there's a text here let's let me uh, put here first page and we have the same thing or we have any value on the second page so I will go to the second page here and I will just put here second page now if you want to directly jump to that text so what you have to do you have to set this as a, a bookmark so how can you create this bookmark for this first page so you know so basically we have to go to the uh, this insert and then bookmark and I can put here any name and like uh, first page and now click on add so this will create a book uh, bookmark for this first page for this location for this text now if I need to create another bookmark I just need to select that value that text and I can go to the bookmark again and then I can put here second page and now click on add so bookmark added here now if I need to jump to the second page I can directly go to the you know bookmark and click on second page and directly click on go to so it will directly go to that second page bookmark we can jump to the specific contents and basically uh, in MS Word uh, we use for the you know for the putting the link like uh, if you want to go to the first page second page or any uh, contents if you want to go to the uh, the content of this page like if you want to create an index type so you can create an index here and then you know you can link that with the uh, with the help of hyperlink so let's say if you want to link the hyperlink here you can uh, you know select that or you know you can press control k something you know to open the insert hyperlink and if you want to go to the same document then you can click on this place in this document and after clicking on this if you want to go to the second page you can directly click on that and press ok now you can see we have used a hyperlink so if you click on that it will directly go to the second page because we have already created a bookmark for the second page right so you will have seen when uh, you are working on any SOPs like OPS manual, user manual, standard operation procedures document then we have that type of things like we you know click on that content and it go, goes to direct you know that that page so we can do like that so basically here uh, in MS Word you have seen how to use that but if you want to you know use this bookmark set bookmark contents in UI Path Studio. Then how can you do that? So here, here you have seen that we can create a bookmark. Now in the UI Path Studio, I will you know tell you how to 
set the bookmark contents so what's the meaning of set it means if you want you want to write something against that contents so let's say if we have this first bookmark that is first page and if you want to change the value of this first page then you have to use the set bookmark contents so this will be replaced with that so basically uh, the set bookmark contents used with the invoice or any like appointment later so let me show you I have one appointment later here the simple letter and here we have a current date name address job title manager so basically uh, this later we have already completed with the help of replace date replace text in UiPath studio but now here I'm going to show you with the help of set bookmark contents so here we can create a different different you know bookmarks for this current date name address job title and manager and then we can get the value from the excel file excel data and then we can replace these bookmarks it means we can set the bookmark contents so here you can see we are going to the insert and then here we have option to book you know bookmarks we will click on that so you can see I have I have already created the bookmark for all these you know fields here and if you want to see the bookmark that you know which text has been created as a bookmark you can directly go to the file you can then click on options go to the advanced and then in the in the show document content you can click on this show bookmarks and click OK so you can see the it has been put in the bracket so it means this has been created as a bookmark so if I just click on this manager it will directly go to that manager right so what I'm going to do here I have already created this a uh, project where it will copy this template and put here so that it will not replace the original template so it will copy and you know paste that document here outside of that folder and then it will pick this data it means it will read this employee data we have the same data it will read that data and it will one by one try to you know set the contents of that against that bookmark and then it will save all these letters with a different name here now let me first show you that here so let me run this control F5 so you can see here it's trying to replace the data and then it's creating a different you know the name of that appointment later with that employee name now it will open this another template and then it will set the bookmark contents so here the advantage that it will not replace all the similar value so you can see in the appointment letter let's say we have a Manish Pandey this letter and if you have a current date written somewhere else also so, so it will not replace that value it will not update with this date right but if you use the replace text activity then that will replace everywhere so if you have a set bookmark content activity and we have inserted this bookmark then we can replace with that okay so let me delete that here and now we'll be using this template so what I'm going to do I'm going to do I can show you the step by step because the same thing I have already shown in my previous video that is update you know appointment later dynamically so you can go through that also I'm just going to give you overview that how we have used so here in the read range activity I'm just I have just taken one, one read range activity and I am just using this uh, this excel file so and it will read that data and it will store in a data table now here I am just assigning a value 
to a variable that is a template and this is by template that is uh, you know appointment later or DOCS and this is under the template folder this is so I'm going to assign this value now here in the processed path I am just putting here the the, uh, the value of this path that we are going to write all this appointment letters to this folder to this folder right now I'm going to the for each row because one by one I need to read the data from the data table so I need to take a for each row and I'm using that data table here you can see this data table and that using for each row first inside this for each row in the body first what I'm doing I am copying this template so what is this template I'm copying this later this appointment later you know I am and all you know copying and pasting to outside this project as a name this sample appointment later or DOCX so that I can not you know work on the original file I can just take a copy of that and work on that and then delete right so it will just copy and paste to that location now here using word application scope I am using this letter the sample appointment letter DOCX so that I can work on the temporary word document now here I have just taken one activate activity to just activate that you know uh, that word document so that it will you know show you on the screen now here earlier you know in the replace text here I have used the replace text activity but now I am using a set bookmark content and here in the bookmark name earlier it was something like you know a blank like this so here I need to put the bookmark name so what is that bookmark name so you can just open that here and now you can see first I need to replace you know I need to s need to set the bookmark contents of this so you can see uh, the current date so you'll go to the insert and here you can see the current date I have already created this cur current date for this one you can see it's going to this so I am just putting that bookmark name which is showing here current and then without space because it will not take a space if we put here space it will not accept that okay so I consider that bookmark so here I am putting that bookmark name and what will be the bookmark text because we are using a set bookmark content so it will this will be the content it's so it, this will be changed against that bookmark name now here I have taken a, a name so you can see we have a name it will go to this now I'm changing this name with the row and then in the in the bracket double quotes a name and this name we are getting from this let me show you so this name we are getting from this first column so that will be first column first row now we are taking another bookmark that is address so we have another that is address manager you know address job title manager all these things so same way I have taken address and then replacing with the excel data that is row address here we have a job title then we have manager and then after this I am you know using a send hotkey to send a shortcut key that is F12 so it will so you know save as dialog box so that I can put the location here like where I need to save so it means that will be appointment later and then you know the uh, the employee name and then underscore employee uh, appointment later dot TOCX so here after sending the shortcut key that is F12 I'm checking that we have a save as dialog box opened or not see if we have that opened so I need to type the value there like processed path so what is the path so this is the path appointment letters it means it will go and it will save that all this later to this location appointment letters so also you can see here after that I am putting the row name it means I am capturing this name so the file name will be appointment letters 
inside that folder Manish Pandey then underscore I am putting your appointment later so that will be saved as a Manish Pandey underscore appointment later dot tocx and then I have taken one click activity to click on save so if I will press F12 then here I am putting all this value here file name and then click on save right now after that I need to close that word document right so that's why I'm using a close up application so it will close that word and then I'm deleting this the existing template which is here outside this folder that is temporary word document so I'm deleting here so this is the first iteration first time now again it will come to the second row it will check again it will copy the the same template the original template to the uh, to outside that you know that folder so that will be temporary again it will use that it will try to set the bookmark contents of that right so you can see uh, if I if I'm going to take that set bookmark content so this is a part of word I can show you here that here we have a two input only bookmark name and bookmark text if you go to the properties we don't have much here only bookmark name and text so name which is given in your bookmark here this will be name and then you know of what value you want to replace so basically I have just created the bookmark name of that but you can see we have a current and then without space date so this is the bookmark name but what is the content this is current and then space date so that can be a date only also the bookmark name can be anything it's not like uh, I am putting the same name no if I need to put here the date so and then I will click on go to it will directly go to that right so here for for the you know that one I need to put the bookmark name so if I will put that date as a bookmark name so we'll update that and here what will be the value you want to replace so I'll put here uh, today's date so that will replace this also right right so every time it will close and then delete the temporary word template later and then it will complete all these steps here and then you will get everything in the appointment later so uh, this is useful when we work on this type of mail merge things so if you are getting this type of task I will recommend you to use this set bookmark contents instead of using replace text because if you use the replace text so you don't know where you are using the name if you are using name here anywhere all the name will be replaced with that value and you will not be aware that you know the data has been replaced in your later right and also you will not open each word document to review right so the better you can create a bookmark for that and you can use a set bookmark contents and change that value right so I hope you like this video if you really like this then please press the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe Thank you so much.